Hello guys, welcome to another video in the series of coding. Today we are going to do the problem which is called find and replace in string. So I given a string S on which you need to perform Q replace operations. Each replacement operation has three parameters starting index I, source word X and target word Y. The rule is that if X starts at position I in the original string, then we will replace that occurrence of X with Y. If not, we do nothing. Let's try to take an example to understand this. Suppose you are given the string S, right? Which is A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Let's say in the first operation, you are given some index. So let me also write the indices. So let's say we are having the string of length 7 and these are the indices. Let's say you are given the first index 2. And let's say at the index 2, you are given the source string which is okay, source of i so you will be given some index of i source of i and you will be given target of i okay so let's say you are given source string which is um c d e okay and let's say you are given some target string which is let's say happy so in this string what you have to do you have to first of all look at the given index right so in our example in the first operation let's say the index given is 2 so at the second index so starting from the second index in the string you have to see if you are able to find the source or not first of all you have to check if you are able to find the given string or not so our source is cde so we will check if we are able to find the given string cde or not in our case we are able to find it right because cde is correctly starting at the second index right at the second index so we are we have found it if we have found it, we have to replace it with the target string. So in our case, the target string is happy, right? So we will replace it. So let me replace this. So AB will remain as such. The given portion CD will get replaced by happy. And after this happens, FG portion will remain as such. So this is the next given string. Okay. Now you are you can be given many number of operations. So let's say this is just the first operation. Okay. Let's uh, see the next operation. Let's say after this. You are given some other operation. Let's say you are given uh, index 6 and let's say you are given a source string G and let's say you, are, you have to replace it with the target string world. Okay. Let's say this is your second operation. So what you will do in the original string, in the original string, you will check at the sixth index. So at the sixth index, you have G, right? We have G. So we have to replace it with world. Okay. So at the sixth string, since we have uh, at the sixth index, since we have G, we have to replace it with world. So after this, after the second operation, what will, we, will the string become? So happy will remain as such. F will remain as such. Okay, let me write it properly a b will remain as such happy will remain as such f will remain as such g will get replaced with world so this will be the next string okay so this is the given condition now um this will be the final string that we have to return okay? now it's possible that we are given some uh, operations which may not exist at all okay let's say you are given some index let's say you are given index 3 and let's say you are given uh, something like um doll b okay let's say uh, you are given if the source doll b exists or not and if it exists replace it with blah okay just random words so you will check at the index 3 first of all if doll b exists or not so in our case it doesn't exist right after this you see that it doesn't exist so in this case you don't have to replace you have to ignore this operation you don't have to do anything okay so some random operations can also be given which are which you have to ignore if they do not exist okay now uh how are we going to solve so we are going to uh, do it using the simple way first of all index is given to us so we are going to check at the given index if we find the source string if we find it then you have to replace it okay but there's just one thing when you are uh, changing the source string to the new string right the new indexes and the old indexes are not same so let me write the new indices okay in the old string okay g was occurring at index 6 okay that is great but in the new string g is occurring at index 8 why is there a change of indexes because because you have inserted a new string right in place of the original string and that new string was of greater length than the or original string so we can see that happy is of length 5 right and source which was cd was of length 3 so when we made the change operation 5 is greater than 3 so 5 minus 3 2 there are two characters that have been inserted new the the length of the new string is two characters larger than the older string that is why index 6 has become equal to index 8 okay index 5 has become equal to index 7 and so on right so that is why you have made a change in the number of characters so in this case whenever 
you have to account for the new length you have to subtract the source string length from the target string length and this is a new number of characters that have been added to the string and you have to look at the new index okay that is the only thing we have to consider now we can move forward to coding it so let us start coding it let's start coding it so uh, we have the string okay we have the string uh, let's say uh, we have the string s now i want to uh, chain the string s right finally i'm going to return s but i'm going to ch uh, make changes in that right so i'm going to make a copy of s and i'm going to call that as original and i'm going to uh, uh, keep the original string same as the string s which i received but i'm going to change my string s so whenever i make a change it's going to change in the string s and finally i can return s with the all the new changes that we have included okay so what we are going to do we are going to iterate for all the uh, q operations right so for int i equal to 0 i less than q i plus plus right we are going to iterate now what is our aim our aim is to find if at the given index the source exists or not right that is a simple aim so we are going to check right at index of i right at index of i if the source exists or not this is our aim so we are going to use the find function in the original string that's why we needed the original string so in the original string i am going to find if my source of i which is my uh, string if that exists or not right so let me give auto let's give a variable found is equal to original dot find sources of i if i am able to find this right so if my found is equal to index of i that means it's great right so if i have found this that means that i have to replace right then i have to replace that given string with the target string so i'm going to make the changes in s so i'm going to use the replace function on s and i'm going to replace starting at the position found uh so we have to give three parameters in the replace function first where is it starting so it's starting at the position found then the size of the uh, source is uh, string and then the target string that i am going to give so these are the three parameters in the replace function okay so once i have replaced it now what will happen the new length will also change okay let me declare a variable let me call it new length initially it is zero now what happens is every time right see first um g is at uh, index 6 right but now after the change g will be at index 8 and this is the string s right so it has got changed how is it got changed so you can see that g will not be found at position 6 rather it will be found at position 8 why because 6 plus 2 is equal to 8 and how do you get this 2 this 2 is got by the difference between the characters in the target and the source string right so what i can do is new length okay new length plus is equal to targets of i minus sources of i so whatever is the change in length because of which now it will not be found at the position found rather it will be found at the position found plus new length okay so this is the change that we have to make now uh, what um, else we have to do right to make this code work is see uh, this will work not for all test cases because the find function find function is only going to uh, return the occurrence of the first given uh, uh, place where you find the string right for example okay let me take one example let's say you have hello her hey something like this okay and let's say you want to find the occurrence of he okay so what your find function is going to do it's just going to return zero but let's say you are looking for her okay let's say you are looking for her or let's say you are looking for he itself okay let me not confuse let's say you are looking for he itself so it is just going to return zero because we can see that he is starting from zero okay but let's say in my given queries i am given whether he is starting at index 5 or not okay now obviously he is also starting at index 5 but when you use the find function this will only check for index 0 and it will never enter into this case so we will never make the replacement at all so we have to give a while loop so that we check for the all the occurrences of the given function so we have to give 
while okay while found not equal to string and pause right we will keep running this while loop and we will keep finding all the occurrences of of the given string okay and how will you change the next occurrence so again we will reinitialize found and this time i will make the copy here so to find the next occurrence in the find function itself i can simply give found plus 1 okay so that's it and by the way in the new length i have to give dot size which i forgot so i will just quickly give dot size okay now this code is going to work and finally i can return s okay so let let me compile and run and let's see if it's working for all the test cases So here I should give sources of i, uh, that is a mistake. Now let's quickly run and see if it's working for all the test cases. So it's working, now let's submit and see if it's working. So it's working, thank you for being patient and listening.